first and foremost, uh, we're just thrilled to be here. It is an absolute honor for our program to be involved with such a such an event of this magnitude. We want to thank Sun Life and all the sponsors, uh, certainly the folks here, um, the Red Sox, and, and everybody at hockey, certainly for all the work that has gone on to, to make this uh, dream become a reality for us. So uh, today was all about having some fun on the ice, getting a feel for the uh, for the surroundings, the environment. We're gonna throw in a little bit of a curveball there for. Uh, uh, practice planning purposes, but we uh, we made the most out of it. I think mean, you know the best thing for me as a coach was to see the smiles on our guys' face. And, you know, we all grew up on, uh, on at least I grew up on an outdoor pond. These guys probably played on an outdoor rink uh, in the backyards of their their homes. Uh, it was just a special moment for us. I was hoping that the clock uh, would stop at some point so it didn't end. But um, again, we're thrilled to be here. We've got a very tough opponent, UMass. Uh, respect uh, certainly what they've what they've done uh, this year. Suits a great coach. Uh, I think their team's going to be very well prepared. Uh, we know they've got a ton of team speed. Uh, had a good game last night, an interesting game, but came away with a valuable point at, uh, at Providence. So uh, we know they're a very good hockey team, a lot of skill on their team, but uh, our guys are very excited. And this, uh, we're looking at this as an opportunity to, to get, uh, get on track here and another opportunity for us to, to try to climb up the standings. So it is a very important game for us from, from a hockey standpoint. We're going to have fun, but uh, when the puck drops tomorrow night, we're, we're going to be all business. Questions at this time for the uh, players? Just to start with each of you, just what it felt like when you actually got out there and stepped on the ice. Uh, uh, well, obviously it felt pretty surreal just looking up and seeing the park and all the seats and uh, looking more towards the infield, I thought, like it was just a backdrop. It's just it was hard to take in at first, but uh, then uh, the ice was actually really good at first, and uh, got a little chippy towards the end. and got some snow on it, but it uh, felt really awesome out there for sure. Yeah, it was pretty amazing. I was here uh, in the summer, and definitely a total different look out there. And like he said, it's pretty surreal. Um, definitely uh, pretty cool to have that many seats out there. Guys, baseball fans, and if so, are you Red Sox fans? Uh, I was asked this the other day. I'm actually an anti Red Sox fan. Okay. Hopefully, I won't get booed tomorrow. But <laughs> where are you from? Friends? I'm from Vermont. Where you're from Vermont? Are you a Yankee fan? No, nope, just not a Boston fan. Okay. <laughs> Anybody but Boston. Hate <laughs> the Bruins too. Yep. <laughs> oh, uh, HD, I think we should leave right now. <laughs> uh, I myself. Uh, being from Toronto, I, I'm, this weekend I'm the biggest Red Sox fan in the world. No, I, I, I certainly value our relationship with, uh, with the Red Sox and the Bruins and Nesson. Boston's a very important city for our league and certainly for us. And uh, all kidding aside, you know, it's, it's great to be here and, you know, we've been welcomed uh, to Fenway. Uh, can't tell you how much work has gone on kind of behind the scenes that most fans will never realize and, and we're just so appreciative of all of that. So. More questions? It's time for the players. John? Yeah. Uh, H.G., when's the last time you wore I black to a practice? <laughs> <laughs> uh, this was a first for me. Uh, actually, in high school, uh, I played lacrosse also, so I wore it a couple times there. So I, uh, I, I knew a little bit how it would work out, but uh, it was pretty fun out there today. You work from where? Uh, you're, oh, you're, you're, you're a downtown, downtown. Uh, I grew up in Vienna, Virginia, but I went to high school in Minnesota at Shack St. Mary's, so I played the cross there. Steve, then Nikki played two sports, so I picked that up. HTL, I'll start with you and then maybe right after. You guys feel like this game, this is an opportunity for you guys to just forget everything, forget the past, forget you know what's come up ahead, and just take in what this experience is going to be, and at the same time, you know, take on a conference opponent and just kind of give yeah, definitely. I mean, um, we've had a lot of struggles this year, but even out there, it felt like nothing matters that has happened this year. And like, this is what it's all about. Like, this is this game is almost like a whole different season to us, and we know how bad we want to win it. Obviously, both teams are going to be extremely competitive, and uh, it, it really had a different feel out there because it's something we're never going to get to do again. So everybody wants to have their best effort, obviously. So I felt like all the guys were really ready to go in that sense, and. Uh, Everybody knows that this isn't just a field day at Fenway, kind of, and that we want to compete and we want to show everybody this, 
going to be our most watched game of the year and everything. We want to show everybody that uh, we're better than we've shown so far and that we, uh, we're really picking up our game. This is for both the players. Who was the name of the outdoor pond or river or backyard or river that you played in growing up? Uh, I played in my backdoor rink. My dad started one when I was probably three or four. Pretty much learned to skate on it. And uh, we've had it ever since, up until last year. It was the first year we didn't do them. Um, I grew up in Virginia, so I didn't really have a backdoor rink that much, but uh, when I went to high school in Minnesota, we played on uh, uh, Lake and Faribault called, I can't remember the name, it might have just been Lake Faribault that, uh, that we played on in the winter a couple times, which was pretty fun.